Yep, great. Um, well, let me first do the thank you um, for everybody that showed up and showed up so utterly and completely and humanely. Um, and then to the HowlRound team, you guys are incredible. I mean, you make it look easy. <laughs> and, yeah. There's, there's just an immense amount of work and even making sure the party goes well and that, you know, the menu was right and the room was right and all of those things. So, thank you. Um, sorry. Um, I want to read a, um, an email that the Mellon staff got from our president yesterday. Um, Dear colleagues, I want to make you aware of a pending announcement. The tragic events over the past month or more from Orlando to Baton Rouge to Minneapolis to Dallas continue to hold the attention of scores of Americans as well as the philanthropic community. Last week, dozens of foundation presidents and CEOs had a call to discuss what we can do collectively that goes beyond our individual grant making. We decided to produce ads that remind the nation of the powerful work undertaken by grantees to design a brighter future. In a season of gloom and despair for some, we sought to shine a realistic light on hopeful actions. No one on the call considered such a gesture a panacea, but all recognized the important role philanthropy can play and has played in establishing a tone and a framework for creative solutions. Um, th this ad is going to appear tomorrow in the Baltimore Sun, Detroit News, Detroit Free Press, New Michigan Media, Houston Chronicle, Los Angeles Times, Sacramento Bee, Miami Herald, New York Times, and Washington Post as of yesterday. And since most of us access our newspapers on our um, electronic devices, um, I know that that might not um, be something that many people see. But the um, ad says, from our history, hope. Every American generation must face defining moments. We are facing one now. The recent killing of, killings of people and police officers in communities across the country have stirred feelings of discord and despair and left Americans wondering how we will find a way forward. Yet America has faced many such moments before and found a path toward our ideals of dignity, equality, and justice. From this history, we draw hope. Today, our nation needs more bridges of dialogue and fewer barriers of division. America's foundations are proud to help courageous leaders build these bridges, neighbor to neighbor, community to community. Though we find ourselves at the crossroads of crisis, we are also in a moment of opportunity. In spite of anguish and uncertainty, ideas, inspiration, and action abound. As presidents of America's philanthropic foundations, the remarkable organizations we support give us all countless reasons for hope. And then it goes on to say, what gives you hope? Share the action taking place in your community at hashtag reasons for hope, and visit our websites to learn about the organizations working for chains across all the country. Support them, volunteer, or get involved. And I would say there are about um, 50, 40 to 50 foundations that have signed this. Um, and um, it, it makes me one, uh, uh, um, once again proud to be working at the Mellon Foundation, but also these two days, to receive this in the midst of this two-day convening when we are all doing that work, showing leadership, creating community, and inspiring hope. Um, it leaves me speechless, and so I will hand over the baton. <laughs> Final words from you, Ella. Are you good? Are good? Oh, uh, Kate? I think so good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all very, very much for, for welcoming me. Uh, it's a pleasure in so many ways, and we'll continue for sure the discussion. Uh, great. So um, uh, that. Uh, so any um, final uh, comments uh, from you all before we wrap up? Put down my extra microphone. Hold on, sorry. <clears throat> final, final thoughts? Yeah, Michelle. Uh, this isn't. I, 
I hope I don't, I don't really mean to sound self-aggrandizing at all, but just because a lot of people have asked, um, and HowlRound does not seem to have copies of my book available. Mm -hmm. um, if you would like a copy, just go to 10,000 Things website, click on it, I will sign it to you, mail it to you, if you're interested in, in learning more about the work we do. And hopefully you will get um, some more books on hand since you are making a little money off of it, like 25 cents a copy. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I, we were un, un, unprepared. We, we, we had a lot of copies and we, 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 got, we gave them, we sold them all. Um, all right, other, uh, other thoughts as we wrap up. Anybody else? Yes, Melinda. Uh, I, I would just like to know when the baby's born. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 the baby, the baby, yes, the baby. I think we can make, yeah. Yes, that'll be the first email to the listener. I love that, yes, I know. Um, yeah, Herbert. Well, I just want to say um, this has been a complete and total pleasure uh, to spend these uh, two uh, days with you. I uh, have been incredibly privileged to have had an entire career uh, that started with playwrights as um, the core of my work and um, continues to be uh, uh, to fill my life. Uh, I you know, as many of us can attest to, uh, it's stories that allow me to go on in the world, and uh, the work that you all do uh, makes it uh, possible for us to imagine um, uh, reasons for hope, among other things. Uh, so um, it's always an honor uh, to be in a room of um, people I uh, respect and admire so much, and all of you represent that. So thank you for your incredible uh, generosity, your um, uh, your attention span, uh, your um, passion and intensity uh, for um, this work, and uh, we uh, have a we have a lot to do. We have uh, many charges. We will be in touch with you uh, moving forward. Uh, and I know uh, Susan did this, but I, I just have to shout out I, really the amount of work that. Uh, Jamie, Ramona, Adewumi, uh, and Vijay, uh, and Alex, and uh, Travis, and uh, the, the, uh, the, our uh, HowlRound staff uh, did. I just, from, for me personally, wanted to say thank you so much. Uh, you know, it's always such a privilege to, I, I really work with the best people in all of the American theater, so um, I'm very lucky in that way. Um, thank you. All right, and then as a final word, I'm gonna give the microphone to Katie and baby. I was totally not gonna do this, and now I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, so, uh, I wasn't gonna say anything because there's not anything definitive to say, but I, um, it's been alluded to, and a lot of you have asked me uh, directly, and so um, I feel that I should say something. Uh, I'm going on maternity leave for six months, um, but I'm also starting a PhD program. <clears throat> And um, at the same time, because that seems like a good idea when you're having a baby. Um, <laughs> those of you that don't know me um, very well know that this is something that is very typical of me, actually. So um, it, it doesn't mean anything definitive. Like I said, I have not left the Mellon Foundation. But, um, but what it certainly probably does mean is that my role will be very different at the end of the six months. And so it is very likely that I will not be working with all of you as directly as I have been, um, if at all. And so I want to make sure that you all know um, what <laughs> extraordinary hands I think that you are in and that 
Hannah, uh, um, I mean, Susan has already been so deeply involved in all of this with me for all of this time. Um, and Hannah will be taking it on now in the way that I have been um, for the last however many years, five or six years. And I wanted to take a moment to tell you what a privilege it's been to, to shepherd this through with Susan and, and Carl and David and the HowlRound team and the many advisors that have helped us for so long. Uh, I am, I, I can't even understand how lucky I got. <laughs> uh, but it really means a lot to me to be able to um, know all of you and watch this flourish and watch you do such amazing things and uh, to have contributed in some very small way. Uh, I'm really grateful. So um, we'll let you know when the baby's born and we'll send pictures. And uh, thank you all so much. All right. Thank you. Um, that's it. Yes, <laughs>